Yes, it was my first nude scene. Yes, it was scary. But it was also liberating. Like, aren't we all naked under our clothes? Haven't we all come out of a woman? Like, we all have boobs. We all take showers. We all have sex. We all, like, want to feel good. We all want to survive. We all want to thrive. For Zola, I worked at Crazy Girls for a month. Honestly, it was, hard, it was harder to get a job than you'd think. It really is about who you know. I go in there and the owner, shout out to Tony. So what happened was I had a best, I have a best friend who went to community college with a girl who worked at, she was like, I think she still works there. Like, let me see. She introduced us, we clicked. She brought me in to meet the owner and he was like, stand up, turn around. All right, come in on Monday, we'll see how you do. And I'm like, I don't know how to do any of this. And I'm not telling him that I'm doing the movie. And also, I really did need the money. There was this one girl, her name is Savage. And she would, the way that she commanded the room and she'd clunk her heels to get attention. But I remember the minute we were, she, she made her money, she would run to her car and be out. I started talking to her and she was actually really, really kind. Was just like, don't talk to her, like she'll try to trip you. She was like, don't buy candles from her, they don't even smell. She was like giving me the lay of the land. It was like a movie behind a movie, you know? I bought like these little outfits from our, like our den mother, yeah. I was in my Saturn return, I was, tur I was 27, so for those of you who know, I was, in the, I was in the lowest low of like the breakdown, the like l sleeping on friends' couches, like my car blew up, I didn't have a car, like it was just a dark time and I could barely even afford the outfits. I went to the Sloss and Swap meet to get shoes, and someone was like, yeah, those are like, those are like LA gear. Like, those are not cool. You know, like, you need the stripper heels with the shinglings to get attention. My hair was always in a bun because I couldn't afford to get my hair done. Like, it was just, I kept trying, I kept trying. I had bruises everywhere. Like, I looked like Bambi on ice. I like, trained like I'm a ballerina, so I didn't want to look like a trained technical dancer on the pole. I wanted to look like, you know, it's in me, like it's innate, in, innately I can move my body. I wanted to look like, you know, I strip through the weekends, I make my rent, and so I needed to loosen things up. Honestly, you, it's a, you know, either these men are looking at you like, you know, like you're a piece of meat, and essentially in there you are. You have to be smart and strategic and like, you know, girls teach you like, look at his watch or look at his shoes. Like, that he's not spending any money. He's been standing there all night. Like, you know, it was, it's, a, it's a business. I originally went by Lola and they're like, we already have a Lola. So then I went by Zoe, Zoe for Zola, yeah, to prep. My mom put me in dance classes around like two, three, but I started taking it seriously at 12 but I was always moving, always performing, always trying to figure out how to make it a performance. Like I remember my mom's blinker would be going, you know, click, 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 and I'd be in the back seat like, click, 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 click. Like I just, I just told my mom I wanted to be a moving star, but I didn't know like that I was saying it wrong. Has your mom seen Zola? No. She just sent me an article like, the most anticipated films of 2021, and I'm like, this is not for you, just so you know. Black women and what they carry and how heavy the bags are, like, in Zola, you'll notice she has like all these bags the whole time. I feel like the world tells you it doesn't love you and you're waiting on the world to tell you it does and it never will. With Zola, it's like, you know, maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that, I'll have some stability, I'll have some, some financial, stability, some certainty, and it's in all the wrong places. Do you have a karaoke song? Yeah, it's Say a Little Prayer, Say Aretha little Franklin. Prayer. I love Aretha Franklin. I told you earlier my dog's name is Aretha. But I gotta figure out a new one because I feel like it's such a like, really your favorite karaoke song is Say a Little Prayer. Like it's so cinematic of me.